So you wanna get strong, but you don't have much time. Well, I'm gonna tell you how to get strong with only four exercises. You will need no others. In this video, the only four exercises you need to grow stronger, coming up. Hey everyone, welcome to Specific Personal Training. My name is Dan, where I help people find alignment and success in health and fitness. And if you want to stay up to date with all the latest content from this channel, then be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to stay up to date with all the latest notifications from this channel. So sometimes you don't have a lot of time to work out. There's just not enough time in your day for a 60 to 90 minute workout. You know, you cannot afford to live in the gym because you have work, children, and a whole bunch of other stuff going off. And I get that, I really get that. But you still wanna get strong and have a muscular physique or for the ladies, a toned body, you know. So the exercises that I will go through now will help give you a lean and athletic body. Now obviously how you use these exercises with regards to volume and rest uh, and break will depend on how long it takes you to do a workout with these moves. You can use them in a hypertrophy bodybuilding um, system you know end of the spectrum or you can use them on the strength end of the spectrum where you're going to be using heavier weights with less reps now i'm also going to give you the exercises in a split routine which is how i it, how i think feel it would be best to use them with an upper and lower for each day the weekly layout of the routine is down to your schedule really it's down to what you can um, afford to give to it personally i do two days on one day off but again your schedule might not allow that um, or the time in the day as well so let's get straight into it exercise number one is the deadlifts yeah <laughs> everyone should, knew, knows this has got to be in there the deadlifts is a simple move um, that we do every day it's like standard um, manual handling that you do standard box lifting that you do at work you know if anyone's ever done that uh, so it's so simple to do but it's not easy it is not an easy exercise everything from your head to your toes has to be correct for it you know even as a coach I still developing my deadlift and you can spend so much time developing it and that's the great thing about this exercise you know i've had times where i've gone into the gym and i've just had a total brain fart and I, you know i've had to question my deadlift and, and how i'm setting up and how i'm executing it so you know that's something that you can spend a lot of time working on which if and i don't necessarily mean a lot of time in the gym session i mean a lot of time just over the grand scheme, you know, over a year or months that you're training, you can put a lot of time in into the deadlift, developing it, making sure that it's perfect and the execution is is great on it. And then obviously building up the strength and the muscle and the physiques, you know, and that is why I love it as well because it uses your whole body. It is a whole body exercise, you know, again, from your neck all the way down to your ankles. You've got the heavy traps and the shoulders involved in there. You, you have your, all of you, your back and your lats and in, in your whole torso. And then obviously all of your legs, your quads, everything gets involved with the deadlift at some point or another, which is what a lot of people don't realize. They just look at it as a back or a hamstring exercise. No, it does your whole body. You could just train the deadlift and have a great physique if you wanted to okay now the second exercise that i'm going to give you is going to be dips dips are an awesome exercise you need to have like great flexibility particularly in the shoulders like i've got a messed up shoulder right now uh, i've had them for a while and that's why occasionally i can be limited on where i'm going with the dips and it also means that i have to take time out to fix that which is great with these exercises 
you know they encourage you to fix anything that is wrong with your body again with the dips there's loads of parameters obviously it works the triceps the shoulders and the chest but there's loads of parameters which muscles are more dominant you can obviously add weight belt to the dips as well and different variations like that and you know most people that do a video like this they will have an overhead press or um, a bench press and the reason why I've not elected for one of those exercises is because you know with an overhead press if we were talking about flexibility yes overhead press would be great because that is pretty functional that is something that transfers well into the everyday life but you're only really using your shoulders your traps and your triceps you know there's no chest involved in there and then with the bench press like yes you can add more weight to a bench press but there's not as much flexibility that's n involved with it you know body weight exercises if you're looking to really grow strong and get a great physique body weight exercises are the way to go and there's still so many variables that you can do with them as well so that's one workout right there guys and if you're loving the sound of the simplicity of this so far then give me a hell yeah down in the comments below day two we're going to go for front squats and the reason why i chose front squats is because just starting again from the bottom you need a lot of ankle flexibility to really be able to master the front squat um, to really get great from it it also promotes thoracic extension you know promotes that great posture that chest up shoulders back just like the deadlift you need a lot of core strength for it okay if you're if you've got a weak core strength you're going to dip forward and dump that bar you need to have great posture um, and and just great all-round strength to be amazing at this exercise once again if your front squat is off if your front squat is is doesn't feel right then that's because you're messed up not the front squat it's because you're messed up somewhere in your body like i don't feel my front squat is that great i definitely find it a challenging exercise which is why i love throwing it in there in my workouts second exercise for the day two the upper body one is going to be pull-ups grab something pull yourself up another body weight exercise which is king of um, I would say it's king of the body weight exercises at the end of the day there's so many different variations if you want to do the wide grip and work a lot more of the upper back and the lats or if you want to do a close grip and really focus on the biceps because at the end of the day a lot of these programs that I see people do as well for strength programs they miss out biceps but you know biceps are an important part bicep curls might suck and might be a crappy isolation move but you still need to work the biceps to have a great all-round physique um, once again doing pull-ups it creates that thoracic extension it creates you know that big chest that long spine and that is why these exercises are so great um, and why I've chosen these four exercises because they're the basics they are the basics of what we have done from the dawn of time you know we pick stuff up we pull ourselves up and the benefits of a routine like this is that it allows for a corrective warm-up while you're short on time the worst thing about having a big program to do with multiple exercises is that an isolation exercises when you're short on time is that people then often skip their warm-ups and their cool downs and that's what creates to the injury and the bad postures and things like that so therefore by having a short workout by having a few exercises um, it allows you to warm up properly work on those corrective exercises that you need to do to master those exercises and like i said it hits all muscle groups as well um, and they're all muscles that help posture like working your back muscles helps the posture the thoracic extension from the front squats helps posture you know and the other benefit is that less exercises means that you can go hard on the ones that matter in a short period of time like what's going to give you the bigger bang for your buck and give you more benefit going hardcore on bicep curls or really putting everything into your pull-ups 
If you are new to strength, then be sure to check out my other videos on how to get strong. I have a whole playlist of them here and that will pop up at the end of this video as well. So I just want to thank everyone for watching this video. Let me know if you liked it or disliked it by mashing the thumb button down below and certainly share it with anyone that you feel would get great value and information from this. Now my question of the day for you is, are these four exercises in your routine? And if they're not, what are your top four exercises? In the description down below will be links to my other social media. <laughs> in the description section down below will be links to my other social media. So give me a follow on there and let's chat over there too. And if you haven't already, then like I said, smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to turn on notifications to get all the latest updates about videos from this channel and if you want to see more of my get stronger series then click on this link here or if you want to see the latest content from our channel then click on this video here and i'll see you over on that next one right now